Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. Today we are going to do an important topic that is regarding the compliance function and role of chief compliance officer. So this this is an RBI circular. ये एक RBI circular है from the month of September 2022. Why I'm doing this right now? Because it is very important for the SBI CBO 2022 exam that is going to be held in the next month. very important topic very short session like 5 minutes you can easily cover that within 5 minutes and that would help you for sure in the exam theek hai first of all the categorization of urban cooperative banks so in the in a uh, previous circular rbi categorized the urban cooperative banks according to the deposit size deposit deposits ke accordingly rbi ne categorize kar diya hai urban cooperative banks ko theek hai any urban cooperative banks who is getting deposits up to 100 crores it is a tier 1 uh, ucb if the deposit is more than 100 crores but less than 1000 crore it is a tier 2 urban cooperative bank if the deposit is more than 1000 crore but less than 10000 crore it is a tier 3 urban cooperative bank if the deposit is more than 10000 crore it is a tier 4 urban cooperative bank that's how categorization have been done by the rbi various guidelines of rbi are implemented and applicable according to these tiers for example the the guideline that we are going to discuss today these are applicable on tier 3 and tier 4 urban cooperative banks these are not applicable to tier 1 and tier 2 urban cooperative banks okay so as i have already told you rbi asked all the large urban cooperative banks the tier 3 and tier 4 urban cooperative banks more specifically to appoint an chief compliance officer a chief compliance officer they need to hire okay so this particular circular is not applicable to tier 1 and tier 2 urban cooperative banks right so the tier 2 urban cooperative bank they'll place a board approved policy and they need to appoint a cco by 1st of april 2023 so that is also important okay first important question that this circular is applicable to tier 3 and tier 4 urban cooperative banks and tier 4 urban cooperative banks they need to appoint a cco by 1st of april 2023 and the tier 3 needs to appoint a cco by 1st of october 2023 okay <clears throat> so what is the purpose of appointing a cco right to meet the regulatory norms right he would ensure the cco would ensure that the urban cooperative uh, bank the ucb is adhering to the regulatory guidelines it is the job of the cco okay the appointment of the cco would be uh, for 3 years it should not be less than 3 years in exceptional cases it may be relaxed by 1 year and the cco shall be transfer removed on uh, on the completion of the tenure if uh, the board wants to do that before the tenure in exceptional cases prior approval of the board committee is required and every should uh, everything the process should be transparent okay then who should be appointed as the cco what what would be the rank of cco in the organization the position should not be uh, sh should not be below two levels from ceo so ceo is at the top it can be at max two level below the ceo in case of tier 3 it can be three levels uh, below the ceo the skills the uh, the cco he should have good understanding of the industry risk management practices legal requirement right he should have the understanding of that okay the stature the cco shall have the ability uh, to exercise a judgment independently right he should be independent right and the conduct he should have a clean track record unquestionable integrity and the selection process it shall be made uh, based on a well defined selection process and the recommendations made by the board right and the cco uh, the prior on before appointing the cco 
prior intimation should be sent to senior supervisory manager department of supervision this is also important so uh, the it should be properly notified to the rbi even before the appointment the reporting the cco shall have direct reporting line to the md and the ceo of the ucb right he should be directly account uh, not accountable reporting to the ceo and there should not be no what is dual hatting so if you are hiring the ceo cco chief compliance officer and he is also a marketing manager or he is also head of marketing so do you think he can do his job properly there is a conflict of interest there should be no conflict of interest please note that there should be no conflict of interest he should not be responsible for any activity which is directly related to profit making or the bottom line of the of the company right of the ucb so there should be no conflict of interest and authority the cco uh, he should have access uh to uh, he should have access to communicate with any staff member and he can access any files or records records uh that is important for him to do his duty okay so apart from having the staff with basic qualification practical experience in the business lines audit he should have experience or knowledge or the practical uh, you know uh, practical experience what do you say in audit uh, compliance uh, knowledge of uh, law accountancy risk management it he should have knowledge of that knowledge or practical experience and that's all that was a, i as i told you this is a 5 6 minute uh, session so students sbi cbo 2022 course is available on bankexamstudy.com and today i have uh, started the test series uh, descriptive test is also there Uh, along with test series for the uh, objective paper as well as for the descriptive paper we have already uploaded it two tests are already there i recommend all of you to just uh, take the test it's very very important complete syllabus coverage is there uh, video classes are there notes are there complete coverage of rbi circulars with the quizzes systematic study plan is there proper study material with the descriptive paper classes doubt clearing sessions along with proper test series okay list of our students who cracked the exam uh, in the previous years uh, for rrb scale 2 which is a related exam all these students took our courses in the past in 2021 2020 2019 all these students took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams i'm really really happy for them if there is any doubt in your mind anything in your mind just ask your doubt my duty is to answer all your questions this is my duty ask your question if there is anything in your mind you can ask me and i'm going to answer your doubts uh, just take my note down my whatsapp number this is my personal whatsapp number you can just uh, drop a whatsapp message and i am going to answer your time uh, answer your questions whenever i had time theek hai mere paas time hoga i'll answer you and that's actually all for today i hope you like the today's session if there is anything in your mind please ask and that's all for today students thank you and have a very very nice day bye bye